Hello, my name is Melissa Ambers with Strategic Blueprint Consulting, LLC. I'm going to start off with a quote from Forbes. The problem with our existing supply chain. We now realize that in an event such as this, there's no tolerance for failure. Sourcing and manufacturing have come under renewed focus and has to push to reshore and improve domestic manufacturing. We don't lack the ability or the technical know-how, just a compelling event to actually do it. The way to recover from this round of COVID-19 and future threats is to start rebuilding. From an economic perspective, supporting a robust manufacturing base is unbelievably important. If we look at the countries which have experienced impressive economic growth over the past 100 years, we'll see that growth was due to the development of a strong domestic manufacturing industry. Now, how many of you can relate to this? A supply chain is just that, which means that each works together as a link in the chain, no matter where the initial issue arises. Open communication throughout the network is vital. It's not just the end user that determines the course of action, Every supplier in the supply chain must understand the steps to complete those actions. This is another reason real-time data is so important. Supply chain disruption is part of doing business, but by being transparent and having a project management team meet monthly or quarterly based on your business, some of the issues can be spotted quickly and eliminate or mitigate the disruption. Leaders, it's time to talk to your departments, not just other management. Talk to your employees, team members, supervisors. Bring them in on the conversation so you can truly understand what is happening within your organization, just not what's on the surface.